All right, what's up, what's up? I am going to do a quick video on how to get Slivers of Adderstone. Um, slivers of Adderstone are very useful crafting materials that add storage space onto your bags. Um, the perk is called Extra Pockets, and it adds like significant encumbrance, uh, making your bags a lot better and you're able to carry a lot more, which probably don't have to talk about the benefits of that. So the first thing you're going to need to do is gather as much mining luck gear as possible. I'll showcase it here. I pretty much am fully decked out on it. Um, Reinforced Mining Luck Gear is the perk name. You can see on my helmet, I have 3.7. On my chest, I have 3.4. Gloves, 3.4. Pants, 3.5. Boots, 3.4. Um, none of the stats or weight on these things matter. I'm literally just wearing these for the mining lock. In addition to my gear, my necklace has 7.1%. This is pretty rare. I got really lucky with this. And then on top of that, my pickaxe has another 5.1%. So this mining luck is really important. Slivers of Adderstone only drop off of boulders. The basic boulders you run across all game long have like one of the most valuable crafting materials possible. Um, I've attempted to get the Slivers of Adderstone with no gear and like one to two pieces. I've never found one with absolutely zero mining luck, which makes me think that there's got to be some sort of threshold you pass to be able to even have it in your loot table. Um, having like two or three pieces, I can find it, but on average it usually takes me like an hour or two. Again, very rare. Um, with this full setup, the jewelry, the mining pick, and then I kind of use one additional tactic is uh, food. Potatoes and herb roasted potatoes add to your mining luck, and this buff lasts for about 25 minutes. Um, with all this added together, I can usually pull a sliver of Adderstone. One, maybe two, in this 25-minute window. So, um, finding this reinforced mining luck here is actually pretty easy. People generally don't know how valuable it is. You can go to any market, and I have the perk selected, but I'll just get rid of it for now. Um, go up to the perks, scroll down to Reinforced Mining Luck. There's going to be two of them. There's also one that's called Mining Luck right here. This is only specifically for pickaxes. So if you don't have a pickaxe with Mining Luck, hit this one and do the search. It'll bring up all pickaxes on the market with that. But for the armor, you have to look up Reinforced Mining Luck. This is really important. I can't tell you how many times I went to the market looking for armor and I chose Mining Luck and it filters all of them out. So select Reinforced Mining Luck, back out, it'll bring all the pieces of gear that have Mining Luck on them. And uh, like I said, people generally don't know how valuable this is, so you can see cases like this happen all the time. Uh, this helmet's level 43 required with 4% Mining Luck on it, and they have it listed for 10 gold. Here's another one for 35 gold. These are super valuable. Snag one for you, snag one for your friends, because these slivers of Adderstone are just like it's hands down the best bag perk in my opinion. All right, so now all the details are out of the way. I'm actually going to just let the video run. Um, I'm going to go farm one so everyone can see kind of what the time basis is and what you can expect. Um, all you really need to do is go to a place with boulders. Um, not super hard to find. Generally, near the mountainous areas, I find a lot of boulders. I kind of have a favorite spot near Everfall. Um, if possible, you want to kind of try to farm in a territory that you own that's providing a luck bonus. Uh, luckily for me, Everfall does provide an additional luck bonus on top of what I already have. I summed up all of my mining luck stat, and I'm just barely short of 30% mining luck. And that's before the food. Um, the conversion of the food is a little bit confusing. I actually don't know how it works. If you look at it, the herb roasted potatoes say they provide 1,400 points for 25 minutes, yet the rest of the points are actually in percentage. My best guess is that 1,400 is converted to 1.4%, but I don't know. That seems a little low. We'll have to we'll have to get more data to figure that out. But I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to hit the buff now. You can see down at the bottom I have a 25-minute mining buff. 
And we're just going to start hitting boulders. And I'm just going to chill, listen to New World music, and continue to hit boulders until we find one. Angelic, thank you so much. I appreciate you being here. As I'm slamming these out, um, I will put the timestamp in the description of when I actually find it. So if you don't feel like sitting here chilling, watching the boulder smacking, you can just jump to the end. But once I get there, I'll, I'll like announce how long it took me. Uh, you want another useful tip? You want to make sure your bags are like completely empty. You're gonna be smacking a lot of boulders looking for the slipper. And you're going to need a lot of them, right? Because the bags are kind of few and far between level-wise. Um, I got I farmed slivers for my Tier 2 bags and then into my Tier 3 bags. And then, you know, I need, I'm going to need three here shortly for my Tier 4 bags. On average, I've been selling these on the market for around 2,000 gold. And they usually sell within 24 hours. So, even if you don't want them for the bags... I mean, they're just worth a lot of money. Uh, I bought a house. I'm sitting on 13k at 36, which isn't insane, but it's pretty good. Might as well hit iron while you're here. Um, I'm not 100% sure of the loot table on iron, but this mining luck does affect iron as well. You can get stuff, I'm pretty sure, don't quote me on this, but like void metal, bay iron are rare drops from iron. And this mining luck all increases that chance. Like I said, on average in this 25 minute buff, I usually find one. And if I'm real lucky, I'll snag a second one. But honestly, at this point, I just like kind of enjoy hitting boulders. Um, it's okay mining experience. This 106 is pretty much all from boulder smacking. Um, also the stone you get from the boulders, you can go to the gem cutting table and convert all the stone into stone brick. And it's actually a lot of experience. It's been really easy to level up. And that experience and those levels will allow you to cut gems, which gems are really useful for converting damage in your weapons. we could land this sliver of Adderstone right now, that would just be perfect. Any minute now. Some more iron up there. Ooh, Covenant has thrown Everfall into a state of conflict. Looks like we might be going to war. Yeah, some other things while we're just sitting here killing time. My name's Zeltwitch. I stream New World every night from like 5 to 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Feel free to come by, ask any questions. I've played the closed beta, the open beta, the pre-event. So I've got a decent amount of new world experience at this point. I haven't seen a whole lot past like level 40, so that'll be fairly new to me, but yeah, come check it out. Man, there's basically nothing to do with stone other than fortify and do town board, right? Um, yeah, not much that I've seen. Like I was just saying, you know, converting stone to stone brick is really good for leveling up the, the gem cutting. Good for town boards. It might be used in some, like, ammo crafting. I'm not actually sure. I usually, because I farm so much of it, I'll convert half of it to stone brick. And then I'll keep half of it just stone, and I'll throw both up on the auction house. And it's real cheap, but you just have so much of it that I usually end up making a little bit of gold. People often don't want to go out and smack boulders because they don't know the value that's in them. So they'll just, you know, buy them cheaply off the auction house.
Yeah, good leveling for stone cutting because jewels give you very little experience, but you need the XP to cut high level jewels exactly. Ooh. Oh, this boulder. It's so juicy, but I don't think I can reach it. Oh no! <laughs> Wait. Oh, 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 I thought I was stuck. <laughs> Video just got juicier. Watch us get real unlucky, and this is going to be the one time we do not find a sliver of batter stone. Which actually, right now, my luck is the highest it's ever been, because I just got a an armor upgrade off the auction house for 10 gold. See, we've already looted 800 stone. It's like a quarter of my weight, over a quarter of my weight. I'm sure there's areas with, like, more stone clumped together, too. You can just kind of make wide circles here and the stones come back. Oh, yeah, totally, Amanda. I'm just, like, enjoying chilling, leveling stuff up. Um, the main story quest actually levels really fast. It's surprising. Every main story quest I turn in right now, which, like, sometimes they're right next to each other, is, like, 4,000, 5,000 experience. And I'm finally to the point where it's like sending me back the cutlass keys, so I'm pretty excited about that. Hey Bree, how's it going? Welcome. Any second now. Getting close. I can feel it. It does what I was doing mostly uh, main story quests. And it's now at a point where I can't comfortably travel. I, like, the, the mobs outside are too dangerous, or, like, you don't have enough Azoth. How's the world of New going? Free kid, it's going great. So much fun. So relaxing. I'm encroaching on the star metal territory right now, which I'm really excited for. It'll make this process even faster. Yeah, my next one is in Weaver's, and I don't like sneaking around and trying not to die. Yeah, Weaver's Fen. I actually like Weaver's Fen more than I thought I would. But it's treacherous a lot of those ghost mobs and those ghost mobs do not mess around they are not easy to hit what if the star metal tools would take these boulders from three hits down to two hits that would be pretty significant there it is sliver of adderstone so we started the buff at 25 minutes, we're now down to 16, so roughly 9 minutes of farming with this level of luck. And again, those slivers of Adderstone used while crafting bags, they add the perk extra pockets to your bags. Um, it says you can hold 50 more weight, that actually translates into more. Uh, you'll get You'll get more than 50 encumbrance on your bags from that. But yeah, so you can either use them to craft your bags, which I highly recommend. You could sell them on the market. On average, I see them going for 1500 to 2000 I put mine up on it for 2000 every single time, and they usually sell within 24 hours. So great for making a profit. But yeah, thanks for checking out the video. If you want to see more, ask any questions, anything like that, uh, please come to my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash